Okay, so I am going to try to uh, play this video, let you see something on it, and make commentary uh, as I can while it's going on. But as I said, I had been cooking that day doing my canning, and they turned my water off in the backyard. Because I was taking, uh, I had a, a one of them uh, six gallon water jugs and I would go out there in the backyard and get water collected and do my cooking and stuff because that water was not contaminated so they changed the locks on the basement and turned the water off so I was going to break that lock and get my water back on some fresh water and Mr. Davis called the law so I'll let you know what's going on as it happens They're trying to act like they don't, um, yep. these officers that they dispatched trying to act like they don't know me. But they know me very well. And they know this. All of these officers know who I am. Now, let me tell you something. Listen to his voice. He is sick. He is sorry. Because they watch me all the time. They know I was in my house having a few beers. So when he says, was I drinking? When he asks Clarence, was I drinking or doing drugs? Um, he wanted Clarence to say, yes, I was drinking. Now, look how fast they get here to my house. Now, I made video, video of how it takes them half an hour. Look how fast they get there. So obviously, they were sitting around the corner. Now he says it's going on YouTube. How did they even know I had a YouTube channel? I never told any of them individuals upstairs or Miss LaVera anything of my business. So obviously they have been watching me very close and watching each video I post. How did they even know what name my, my YouTube channel was under? But they know everything I do. Now there's the officers. Look how fast they got there.
deadbolt lock, or is it just is that door just secured by that padlock and shack? It's no, it's secured by the deadbolt. Okay, it's a double deadbolt. Yep. And the reason why it's closed, she doesn't have access to it, is what reason? Sir? Um, it's not the common basement. It's not a so common. lives down there? No. It's not the basement. that's for access to everyone in the building. No, it's not. It was, and then all of a sudden it got locked. Never. She used to give me a key to go down there and let the utilities in and everything else, but now it's locked. Start tampering with things. Ta- what, what did I tamper with? Can I see the camera for a second, please? Yeah. Can I see the screwdriver, mm-hmm. As far as I know, I don't know. I, now, the officers, when they came yesterday, I went in there yesterday because they charged my You can only hear one person at a time. You can only hear one person. You want to step outside the house. So what's the problem, Michelle? They turned off the water. So I had to break the lock to go down in there, turn the water off. So now I could, my water is contaminated. The only place I got water is the cold water in the kitchen, in the kitchen faucet. It is contaminated. So what I do, the water that goes outside the building to the uh, hole, I go out there every day, two or three times a day, collect me some water in a six-gallon bucket and bring it in the house so I can cook and wash up with now they turned off the water, so I broke the lock to go in and get to it because that's why they didn't want me in the basement. Now, the officers say I can't go in the basement, but this building is condemned. You see the gray big old yellow sign on my, on my uh, apartment? The building is condemned. Now, he said the beer turned off the water. His mom. Now, uh, he told me that uh, not to go in there because the water was on. So I go in there a few minutes ago to get some water. They done put a lock on the door. Plus, and turned the water off in the back. Well, I can't even get water out the uh, holes in the back. That doesn't, I can't be shut down. Well, I can't have any water at all. That doesn't make any sense. But them to lock me out for some water. I'm down for a second. Let me ask him. Can you explain, sir, why the water was turned off for? I can't explain any of that. I have no control over the water or anything. I live upstairs in my bedroom. And you have running hot water and running cold water, correct? And you have no idea why water was turned off specifically to her apartment. Yeah. Sir, I've been connected to her water sink because I guess you let the water sink off the power to try to go from yesterday. And when they were down there, hold on, when they were down there, they saw a water sink on the ground. The water sink that was on the ground said it was cold water sink. So he with the water tank. This is all an issue because they're trying to get her out, so you know, there's more stuff to do that to make her leave. You know? um, they were told to restore her water because she can't be in there without water, and I guess it was now that she was in In fact, they cut my water hole. The water line going to the water where well, I can't get water at all. But, the, but, uh... It's cold running water from the spigot, but you're saying that it's contaminated. Is, is it coming out brown, or is it coming out it's white. It's, it's slimy. Now, now listen. White. Yes. Now listen. The water. She cut off the water in my bathroom. I have no water here in the toilet or the ba- or the bathtub. But she left the water on the cold water on in the kitchen. But it's contaminated. I have to video after video about the water being contaminated. Now I went outside in the back and got water, and it was clear. Nothing was wrong with that water. So that's why I didn't get my water in uh, yesterday. Now they cut that off. Now the pipes leading to the, uh, my hot water and to the fresh water, they've been cut and capped. So I can't, my brother came over here, we were going to restore the water, but they cut it, the pipes and capped it and ran new pipes up to his apartment. You can go down there and take videos. They put new pipes in there. That's not true as far as running new pipes and all that. Now, he can't say that that's not true. Because the officer could clearly go down there and see that the pipes are new. But they don't want to do that. He don't. They don't want me to show them the, where the new pipes at. And that's another thing they do. They always separate me from them, and and so they can have their private little conversations. So they go, like they did Mr. Larrabee, they go to uh, different areas and talk to them about whatever 
where I'm not privy to what's being said. Now, I don't know if you can clearly see uh, uh, what his, the officer's face on this video, but I'm going to mention in a few minutes exactly what's going on. I think you can see some of the things that's happening. Because they won't give me no heat either. Give me my security deposit so I can get out of here. If you want me out of here so bad, all she has to do is give me my security deposit. The building is condemned. You're not supposed to hold a person's security deposit since you called and had the building condemned. Well, the building cannot be condemned if she still has tenants on the second floor. It's not condemned. What did? Apparently they served you with an eviction and you left the building two to three weeks ago. Now, uh, for him to say that I moved, now you've seen plenty of video of how nasty that laundry room is. Telling me uh, apartment is condemned. Now we all know that if a building is not up to standards, they condemn the whole building. They don't condemn one apartment. But they keep trying to change the statutes and regulations about what the law says about uh, apartments and buildings. What regulations they're supposed to have. Now, I wish I could have got that officer's a good, clear uh, video of him, his features, and what he looked like. Uh, but I'll make sure I have people, officers, and everybody else face in clear view from now on. So you can tell the difference from between the person who's normal 
and a person who's high. He can't even clean the bed, the, the laundry room. Now pay attention to the officer stepping outside with the landlord's son, Mr. Davis. They're going outside. So this officer, the white officer, is standing at the door while Mr. Davis and the other officer who was talking are, are outside. Now the officer comes in. Ma'am? Uh-huh. And okay, while you are videotaping me and every and everybody else out here, I'm gonna give you a lawful order based from as representative of the village and of Riverdale. Mr. Davis stands of the village of Riverdale behind I'm him. Everybody advising you that you need to collect some clothing, contact somebody to come get you. I don't have anyone. I have no Now, now it's now, not clear now, here, but you'll see him snipping now, like he snorted he's something. Clothing. And his demeanor changes like he's high. The police department will contact Red Cross for you. No, Looking blink in his eyes. No. As a representative of the village of Riverdale, I'm asking you to do so, ma'am. It is unsafe for you to be here in this apartment. Now they want to put me out. Thank you. I'm asking you of your own to pack a bag, 
Wow. So he knows she shut the water off. She told him if you have to go to Menards, make it happen to turn that water on. And they did not. So I'm going to end this and I'll be back.